Hello everyone, this is Adrian from CH. Uh, today we have a Sado FG30 that uh, it come original with a big uh, CD, uh, big sensor CDI here, the very first original ones. And also I replaced the carburetor. The customer wanted to have a different carburetor. He was complaining that sometimes the engine will shut off when you will turn on one side or another. I don't remember exactly which one. So that's what I've done. So as you can see back there, it's my adapter. I'll go later on and I make a small video how to do that part. But there is the the way it looks. Okay, it fits in the original mount. The sensor is being replaced with one of mine that I do. Hopefully we can see it right here. So that is the sensor holder. And this camera doesn't want to focus on it because he doesn't like it. Ah. Sorry guys. Let me try again. No, it doesn't want to. So anyway, there where is the, the sensor? Let me try that, ah, damn it. No, it does not want to. Anyway, so here it's the carburetor there on the back, the lever. One of the things that uh, you do, you can uh, turn this around. So you will put it in a position where it will be easy for the throttle. So you can do your connection. Nah. Okay, let's see. If I move it from here, you might be able to see it better. Okay, so it comes with that too. The regular CH ignition CDI. Okay, let's put the ignition on. The prop it's a APC idles around 15, 14, 1500. As you can see, it runs pretty good. It has a nice idle, transition is good. 
top RPM holds pretty good there, so hopefully we'll be fine in, this, in, the, in the run. It starts really easy. So this is the Sado FG30. This is the very first series when they had the original Sado ignition with a big uh, bulky sensor here on the back. So replace that and also the stock carburetor. I'll come back with a little video on this engine and I will show the parts and pretty much what it needs to be done. It's very simple, easy to do. And I think it's worth it. Thank you guys.